Hello, welcome to Hysterically Heady. I'm Heather or Heady, whichever you like. And this is where I talk about my mental health, I talk about your mental health, and most of the time, and all the time, I just kind of ramble about anything. So, how's it going? My last video took forever to get it uploaded. I think I got it uploaded last night, and I have been trying for at least two weeks to do it. So, week or two? I don't know. So, here we go. I'm wearing Rare again. Um, I'm trying to get used to this little guy. I haven't used it since, so. Yeah, just kind of, just kind of doing the thing. Okay, so let's see, what brush do I want to use this with? Maybe I'll use this brush again. I don't know. Um, so anyway, I am a solid okay. I fired my med provider person that I started with. I don't know that she knows that because <laughs> I just canceled my appointment and said I'd call when I can reschedule. And uh, I'm not going to reschedule. I'm not doing it. Um... She was nice enough, but she made me very self-conscious. And I don't really need help in that arena because I'm already pretty self-conscious. So I just kind of was like, if I'm going to pay all this money, I'm going to at least like who I see. So I'm working that out, which is funny because I'm also not doing so great lately. And so... I'm using this brush trying to see what I can do because it looks a little, looks a little funky. Um, but yeah, I um, sorry, we're already doing the yeah. Um, so okay, that's a good sign. Just started the video and I'm already annoying myself. But I'm using believe, which every time I pull this out, I'm like. But not not doing so great lately. Um, I have been taking my meds. So, um, well, the ones that I choose to take. I, uh, she gave me this thing called Seroquel, and I'm supposed to take it at night. But I got sick a few weeks ago, and I just decided I didn't want to take it. And, like, every day I would wake up and be exhausted, just absolutely miserable, and trying to get through the day like that. And then I'd go home and take the dang thing again, and then still be exhausted and miserable. And she was like, let's take it for a month and see how you feel. And then you can come back and let me know. And then I got sick and I couldn't really keep anything down. I had the stomach flu or something. And uh, I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like taking it again. And I don't think she listens to me very well. When I do speak, and I also don't feel comfortable to speak to her. So, it's like, I think I need somebody else that I feel more comfortable talking to. Like, this lady, one of the, I think it was the first day that I went in there, I was telling her about something. And she was like, huh, that caused you a lot of anxiety, didn't it? Or you've been thinking a lot about that, haven't you? Or something like that. It was just some kind of... And it didn't come off as like, oh, you know, like, I can tell you thought, put a lot of thought in that. Like, which, even saying it like that, I wouldn't have liked it. But it was very, um, I don't know how to say it. It just felt like I was being accused of something, even though I didn't do anything wrong. And I just was like, you know what, I don't, I don't, hmm. And I was like, well, I'll give her, I'll give her a chance. Maybe I want some more flesh. Um. You gotta be careful with this blush because once you put it on, it's on forever. So I 
just put a little bit on and I may this may tip it give it too much slide but I don't I don't know anyway um I just I don't know I don't I don't feel comfortable with her I don't think I don't feel comfortable with anybody I think I might go back to my just regular doctor and just be like all right the thing about it is that like my regular doctor hasn't told me she won't help me with my mental health like she hasn't been like nope go somewhere else but she's been very honest and said that you know like it's not her um, wheelhouse not what she normally deals with and so a specialist might be better for me but I have went like I I've only applied two places uh, no three I've applied for three places. One place told me I was too severe to help. Um, the second place wouldn't return my phone call. And then the third place was this place that I was going. And I would say where it was, but I don't want to encourage you guys not to go because it was just a personality clash. It's, I don't think it's anything like, this place sucked and you shouldn't go there. I don't think it's anything like that. But there's definitely, like for my personality, it just wasn't working. And like I am, not to be like, Hey, so I'm so great because I'm not obviously or it wouldn't be crazy um, but I am incredibly self-aware and I don't need somebody pointing out to me that I have anxiety when I already know I have anxiety I am anxious as fuck to be there I'm white knuckling my purse <laughs> and I'm quiet which when I'm anxious or nervous is when I'm quiet well, it goes two things. I'll either talk a lot and talk really fast or I won't talk at all. And so you'll ask me if I'm fine and I'm like, yeah, I'm great. Everything's great. And that means that nothing, everything's miserable and I'm going to die. It's just how I am. <laughs> so I don't need her to point out how I'm feeling or how it appears that I'm feeling because I'm well aware that I am anxious and I just, I guess, I, I just feel like I don't need help. I don't need help. I need help. I, I need help, but I don't need that kind of help. If that makes sense. I just, I just, I'm at the point where I don't really know what to do. Because I know that everybody is going to tell me you're not a burden and everything is fine and I'm like yeah I know I'm a burden you don't have to tell me I am one or that I'm not one because if you say I'm not one I know you're lying and if you say oh, I am one then that's not, that's not going to help anything to agree with me <laughs> so I'm just like just you know Alright, so for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this that I got for Christmas. It's Forget Me Not. I think this thing flips it, so you're, it's going to be backwards, but these are the colors. Aren't they pretty? I don't know what I'm going to do. I just know I'm using this palette. So, we're going to just dive in while I yammer. I, I'm using this, um, what's it called? Dewy Lip Balm. Co for, color is Empathy from Rare and it tastes like soap. Like it's straight up filling my mouth with a taste of soap. It's really pretty and I don't use it very often because I forget that it tastes like soap. I use it and then I'm like, mm, I don't want that. And then I you know, forget again that it tastes like soap and then I use it. So that's just what happened. Don't look at my nails, they look terrible. Um, what do I want? What do I want? It's so pretty. Like, I want all of it on my face. We're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. I'm going to use this middle, top middle color for the lid. We shall see. But, uh, The thing about it is that in not taking 
that Seroquel medicine, it took the place of my Abilify. So now I have just the antidepressants and I got on the Abilify because just the antidepressants alone was not making me feel very good. Like it was helping like to the point where I'm like, well, I'm not going to stop taking the, um, I'm going to use this, this color in the crease. Um, I'm not going to stop taking the medicine, but I need more. And, uh, so, sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to this and talk at the same time, which apparently I can't do today. Um, I need more of something. I need something. This doesn't look any different. Like, those two colors don't look any different. I mean, they're both pretty. These pretty colors, but they don't look different pretty. They just look pretty. Um, I use this middle one on the bottom with my finger. And I'm just going to go over. Ooh. That's pretty. I done goofed on the bottom. All right. I painted, I did one coat of paint on my nails yesterday. And then I remembered that I have a base coat that I bought. That I'm supposed to put on before I put this on. And then you do whatever you're going to do. And then you put a top coat on. I forgot. So. Mm. It's pretty, but I think I'm going to go with this, like, peach color. And I'm going to use it on the bottom and see what that looks like. Probably terrible, but we go try it. I was going to do the opposite, but I was like, hmm. I put teal and blue colors in the bottom a lot, so. I think this brush, these brushes need to be cleaned. Maybe I'll do that when I get done with this video. Ha 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 ha. I think I'm going to get a different brush, though use this one um it's kind of pretty kind of it's kind of weird I'm gonna dip into that color that's next to it, this orangey color, bronzy. And I'm just trying to tap it on the center here, if it'll show up. Which it doesn't really. Imagine that it's supposed to be used in a different capacity. I don't know if you see a, I have a stud in, and B, I have this little thing here. I, um, my nose ring got caught. It's a circle goes, like, round, round. You can spin it. Um, it doesn't have a ball or anything to stop it. And it got caught on a towel and bent all out of shape. So I bent it back, sort of, but it still had, like, a space in it. And so it would pop out, and I'd have to scrape it back in to get it back in. And so I have, like, a scratch on my nose that's pretty large from doing that. So I have a, a stud to heal this skin and then I have another hoop, like a different one, that I'm gonna transition into when I when I feel like it. Um I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do because it kind of looks boring. Maybe boring is the wrong word, but it doesn't it doesn't have that vibe that I want. Um That looks pretty pretty. Got that little blue right there.
let's put I'm just gonna keep like adding things and it's gonna look muddy and weird so I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and mascara and then we'll see the cheeks look fine I don't know about this like it just kind of But yeah. If you have me on Facebook, you might want to like mute me or unfollow me. Just because I can't seem to stop posting shit on there that I ought to just keep to myself. Um if you don't follow me on Facebook, but you're my friend, then just keep it that way for a while. And I'll let you know when I feel better. I saw this like thing that you can use to like stick under your eyelashes and stick that'll protect your makeup from you getting mascara all over your face which sounds amazing because it seems to be what I do is I get it all over the lid and I don't like it I'm trying to find one that's reasonably priced because the one I found that I'm like, I like that is from Natasha Denona. And it's not badly priced, but then you have to pay for the shipping and stuff, which is awful. Um, I looked at Sephora and they don't carry one. Ulta carries one, but it's black. And my instincts tell me that that's not going to be like the best color for you to be able to see if you've got, you know, mascara on your eyelashes or not. Because, you know, black on black, it's hard to see. Um, so I looked on Amazon and they have some, but they're kind of like weird. I can't decide if I'm going to wear this. Like headband or not um probably not I don't know probably I'm lazy um but no like Amazon has these weird ones that are different I just don't know how I feel about it sorry I haven't bought one yet I'll turn this light off why did I do that this is what I got it's kind of messy makes me think of like under the sea under the sea, darling, it's better than where it's where I take it from you. Boo -boo -boo -boo. All right, um, here it is. Here I am. I'll talk to you later. Okay, like, follow, share, subscribe. Okay, bye.